just as there is the eternal reward given to the just and faithful, there is also an eternal damnation for those who rejected God, His laws, and His graces throughout their lives. God, who is merciful to the humble and contrite of heart and welcomes them in His eternal abode, is also a God of justice who permits the righteous who have willfully chosen the path of evil to be so for all eternity. covered of invisible plates. In scripture, there are three words when Shul, Hades, and Gehenna. What is hell and is there really a hell? Yes, the teaching of the church affirms the existence of hell and eternity. Immediately after death, the souls of those who die in the state of mortal sin descend into hell. Where they suffer the punishment of hell, eternal fire. The chief punishment of hell is eternal separation from God. Alone with man causes the life, the happiness of which he was created and for which he longs. After the fall of angels in heaven, be their leader, who was named at first Lucifer or Light Bearer, and then renamed. They were permitted by God to try humankind in their wayfaring state. When Christ comes again at the end of time, He will judge all people and also the rebellious angels. God is light and is the light of the world. But the wicked has chosen not to obey God but to follow darkness. So now, is this final state? He or she will suffer the outer darkness of not seeing God. Humanity he has seen In Matthew 8, 12, stated that while the sons of the kingdom will be thrown into the outer darkness, their men will weep and gnash their teeth. Also, in Matthew 25, verse 30, says that, And cast the worthless Serve into the outer darkness. The men will weep and not ready. Leaves of punishment for rejecting God's grace. God, who is a loving creator, desired all men to be saved. First Timothy chapter two verse six. And did not want the sinner to be damned, but that the sinner shall repent from his sins. Yet God who is all good not reject anyone, but the unrepentant and the hardened sinner, was the one who rejected God until his last breath. The great C.S. Lewis, who wrote in the final judgment, God, who was at time very patient with the unrepentant sinner, finally says to him, Now, let your will be done. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26 to 27. Deliberately after receiving knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains sacrifice for sins, but a fearful prospect of judgment and a flaming fire that is going to consume the adversaries. Place of misery and torment. God is the God of peace, ordering endless bliss, but the wheat has turned away his face from him. Therefore, at whose final state, he himself experienced the direct opposite of God's gift, misery and endless torment. <laughs> Place of exclusion from God's presence. The one who has constantly excluded God in his thoughts, words and actions will finally be excluded from God's holy presence. In their unglorified body and vision, they cannot endure to gaze at the blazing glory of God. Just as even the human Moses and the people of Israel, I could not endure seeing the effulgence of God's most holy presence. Galatians chapter 5 verse 21 Invading, drunkenness, carousing, and things like this, of which I forewarn you, just as I have forewarn you, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 9 
this will pay the penalty of eternal destruction away from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power. Church has distinguished two kinds of soul anguish in hell. The pain of loss or when and done me. It is the exclusion from God's presence, which is the greatest loss of any human being can have. It is losing God, who is the everlasting source of happiness and joy. Instead of seeing God, His angels and saints, the wicked only gaze at the devil, the demons at the devil. The pain of sense. Poena senses, a positive punishment in hell which consists of suffering caused by outside things which torment the senses of the damned. The wicked will suffer the torments by fire on all his or her senses, sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. All that can be heard is agony, wailing, and gnashing of teeth, and the disgusting smell of burning sulfur, fire, and brimstone. Daniel chapter 12 verse 2 And many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame, and everything, everlasting contempt. Revelation chapter 19 verse 20 The beast was caught, and with it the false prophets, who had performed in its sight the signs by which he led astray, those who had accepted the mark of the beast, and those who had worshipped its image. The two were thrown alive into the fury, full burning with sulfur. The decrease of vengeance. Across the globe, six hellmouths connect the world of the living with the world of the dead. I do believe there is a literal place of hell. I believe there must be a place for punishment. In these remote sites, explorers are unearthing passages once thought to literally be the gateways to another world.